First question is from Georgie RX. What are the most effective abdominal exercises? All right. I, you know, it depends what you mean by effective. So effective for stability, effective mm. for performance, or effective for aesthetics. And by the way, when it comes to performance and stability, this is very individual uh, because what one person may need to improve their performance or stability another person may not benefit much uh, from. For example, you could do exercises where you're stabilizing and then there's other exercises that actually work the abdominals through flexion and extension. But let's talk about aesthetics. I think that's an easier question to answer because the other one is so individual, right? When it comes to aesthetics, what you want to do is you actually want to build the abs because they're muscle like anything else, right? All of your muscles look better as you build them. Of course, to an extent, right? At some point, which is never, almost never happens, your muscle gets too big. That almost never happens. So pretty much uh, when you're talking about aesthetics, what you want to do is develop the muscle. How do you develop a muscle most effectively? Through a full range of motion and with load, right? Um, so one of my favorite exercises to do for abs is like a, a slow sit-up or a Roman chair sit-up with resistance or a leg raise done properly. Um, all, of, all of those include a decent amount of resistance. You have to be able to do them properly, right. but they build the abs. It makes them more visible. It gives you abs that you can see at higher body fat percentages. Well, I totally you know, would echo that. The first thing I want to point out, though, is to be able to make that connection and to be able to feel uh, you know, your abs actually being involved more so than, say, hip flexors and, and really just going through the, the range of motion and going through these exercises without the proper intent and, and the proper mind-muscle connection connection. So uh, to really take your time developing that, that strong uh, uh, recruitment process is, is, is massively, uh, you know, essential for then loading that situation. Well, I couldn't agree more because the best ab exercise is no longer the best exor ab exercise if you cannot perform it correctly. Yeah. So that comes first. And believe it or not, uh, a lot of people actually... Most people uh, get it wrong. Yeah, are not connected to well, the... Well, look at leg raises. How, yeah. how many people do you see do leg raises properly? Right. That's super, super rare. Yeah. Um, we have to understand what the abs do, right? So the abs attach at the rib cage. So think of your rib cage, the bottom of the rib cage and the pelvis. And when they contract, it brings the pelvis closer to the rib cage. So literally, it's rounding the lower back. What the abs don't do is bend you at the hips. So if I'm hanging and I just bend my legs, you know, like this, if I just do a leg raise where my legs bend, that's hip flexors. Now my abs are bracing and stabilizing. So I may also feel it in my abs, yep. but I'm not working my abs through a full range of motion. In order to do a leg raise where you're working the abs, you don't just bring the legs up by bending at the hips. You actually rotate at the pelvis so that your low back starts to round and then you bring the legs up. And so you're kind of doing this kind of reverse crunch with your with a long lever, right? With long, with your legs extended. It's not, the abs don't bend you at the hips. And this is mm -hmm. the problem. People think if they're bending forward or bringing their legs back, that's abs. Not true. That can be very much just hip flexors and no abs at all, or just to stabilize. So, mm -hmm. I mean, going back to what, what Justin and you both said, I, I think that the, the, the prereq or the first thing is to get really good at it. So I love like a perfect setup and learning how to like, mm -hmm. you know, articulate every vertebrae, yeah. right? Like really slow and controlled, like yep. get that down really well uh, with just your body weight. Then when you, when you get that connection, you understand, oh, okay, this is how I'm supposed to be doing every ab exercise, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what you understand is that when you do that perfect setup and you try and roll the spine up off the ground yep. like that, that's how every ab exercise should be performed, no matter whether you're in a machine or hanging or whatever. And then it doesn't take a lot of reps. No. You know, it doesn't even take a lot of added weight. No. Like, it's really intense. Oh, it, it's your body weight is tough to do 10 reps like that. I mean, yeah. that's really, really tough. But then you get good at that, and then you load it. And, and I think that's yeah. probably one of the most underrated thing for abs. I think abs were taught. I mean, as a trainer, I did this. I taught abs, you know, circuits. Yeah. And you know, 20, 20 bike abs and bicycles the, rotating, yeah, rotating. Yeah, like because yeah. they can take they can take a beating like that, but if you actually and you'll feel them burn, right? And you'll feel the burning sensations. So you think, oh, they're working. I'll get sore from it. But if you actually learn how to really articulate the spine like that and then load it with some weight for five reps, well, you'll it, you'll it, watch you'll watch your abs. Well, build. it's a muscle like any other muscle. So imagine now we're talking about biceps. Forget abs for a second. So we're talking about biceps. What if uh, you you were like, hey, look, I want my biceps to look really good. I would like nice shape and and sculpt, and I'd like really nice biceps. And your trainer goes, cool. Here's what we're gonna do: five pound dumbbells, and you're gonna go like this real fast, <laughs> and then you're gonna move your hands like this real fast, yeah. and then you're gonna bring them up here real fast. 
and your biceps will burn. Commercials like yeah, that. <laughs> your, your biceps will burn, but you're not going to develop your biceps because you're just essentially doing cardio with your biceps. Yeah. That's what people do for their abs, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you want a lot of stamina and endurance in your abs, that's nothing. Okay, that's cool. But if you yeah. want to develop them and develop uh, good aesthetics, which come from abs that are built, mm -hmm. then you want to train them like any other muscle with some load and resistance. And this doesn't have to be weight, by the way. I, I'll tell you what. Uh, one of my favorite things to do was whenever I got a client, when I was a trainer, and I had a client with workout experience. So usually clients came to me. And they were everyday average people, not a ton of workout experience. But every once in a while, I'd get the, the guy or girl that would hire me that's been working out for a while. And especially once I got more established, right? As I got more established, I had more experienced people seek me out because I developed a name for myself. So as people would hire me, they've been working out for a while. And I would do my assessment and they would say things like, oh, yeah, my, I work out my abs three days a week. And mm -hmm. I'm you know, really strong in my core or whatever. And I'd say, okay, cool. We're going to do a physio ball. Crunch. We're going to mm -hmm. just do a sit-up on a physio ball. And like, oh, I could do like a million of those. I'd be like, well, we're going to do it. I'm going to make sure you do them right. right. And then I put them in position, have them anchor their hips, You know, push your hips yeah. up, wrap your back around the ball, slowly crunch over the ball, and they do 10. Yeah, they right. wouldn't be able to do more than 10 because they never really trained through that full range of motion and really trained the abs the way that right. they need to be And they're worked. compensating the whole time. They don't even realize it. Yeah, so the, the thing with me too with abs is like I've really like – cut almost like i mean it can get crazy with how many different types of exercises are out there that people promote but really i have like two i have like three maybe like go to's and, and it's like you mentioned with the perfect sit-up it's a decline sit-up and mm -hmm. then it's like you know hanging uh, uh raises and that's that's about it yeah you know? i like the uh the ab wheel which is very hard to do properly yeah. very hard to do pro by the way we carry those now yeah. uh, at our, our our store didn't you just do a friday fitness tip on that i did yeah. so i think what is it mindpumpstore.com is yeah. that it? okay so we have them now but my uh, ab wheels will build your abs if you can do them properly it takes a while to get the, to do them yeah. properly but that's one of my favorites mm -hmm. i love active planks active planks are also very yep. hard to do properly uh, we have a youtube where I, I demonstrate those so that's a good one and then uh reverse crunch or reverse crunch on an incline which is easier than a leg raise but still very challenging Hanging leg raises are one of the hardest exercises yeah. to do properly. To do them properly right without using your hip flexors the whole time. I don't know very many people that can do them properly. You have properly. to be really intentional. 